Hello everyone, I'm Apoorva Pandita and welcome back to Live Law. Delhi is a place where you can see maximum number of beggars and most of them have taken it as a profession rather than compulsion. But in the same time, you can also see many migrant labourer families residing under the flyovers or on the streets along with children, grandchildren and even aged parents. Most of them are jobless agricultural workers migrating to Delhi in search of food and shelter. To save themselves from starvation, we can see women and children of these families at traffic signals begging. They are not permanent beggars. Some of them are just temporary beggars because of the circumstances. This portrays the failure of a welfare state. And recently, the G20 leader summit has added on to their misery. As part of positioning Delhi in front of world leaders, all the beggars and migrant labour families are removed or evicted. We all know that this is only for a beautification drive and all of them will be back soon, after the summit. So the main issue which I would like to address today is the legal status of begging and beggars in India. Are there any safeguards and how this social issue is to be resolved? Talking about the law, the law considers begging a crime. But according to the Supreme Court of India, begging should not be criminalized. But before getting into that, first let's talk about the law. There is no union legislation on begging in India, but 22 states have their own anti-begging laws. Most of these laws are based on the Bombay Prevention of Begging Act of 1959, which is one of the oldest acts on begging. This act defines begging as asking for money or goods in public places, pretending to perform or sell something, showing injuries to gain sympathy or wandering without visible means of support. As per this act, whoever is involved in begging may end up in prison for one to three years. However, if the person promises not to beg again, they might be released. When I talk about begging laws, I must mention West Bengal Vagrancy Act of 1943. So what exactly is vagrancy? And what is the difference between these two, that is begging and vagrancy? Vagrancy is a condition of homelessness without regular employment or income. Vagrancy includes theft, gambling, contact with prostitution, etc. The difference lies in the fact that vagrant, unlike beggar, is mentioned explicitly in the constitution. The concurrent list mentions vagrancy, nomadic and migratory tribes. In West Bengal, the Bengal Vagrancy Act of 1943 defines a vagrant as someone who asks for alms in public places. Most of the laws passed by these 22 states have common features. Police can arrest beggars only if they are found begging on private property and the property owner files a complaint. Similarly, vagrants can be arrested by the police if they are acting suspiciously or found involved in criminal activities during certain hours. Women and children should be treated with decency and gentleness during arrest as per the law. So if I put it simply, while begging is not illegal nationwide, it is regulated by state-specific laws. Vagrancy laws also vary by state and the police can arrest beggars and vagrants under specific conditions with a focus on treating everyone, especially women and children, respectfully during the process. Coming over to the constitutional aspect, every law in India must comply with the constitution as we all know. The constitution guarantees the right to life and personal liberty, including living with dignity and earning a livelihood, as per Article 21. Also, Article 23 of the Indian Constitution was incorporated to stop beggary and various other forms of human trafficking. So, can we conclude that beggary is not a crime? The Delhi High Court in 2018 gave an answer to this question. It ruled that criminalizing begging goes against fundamental rights. It recognized that people beg not because they want to, but because they have no other means to survive. The court found that begging is often the last resort for survival for some people. Also, a focused bill, that is the Persons in Destitution, Protection, Care and Rehabilitation Model Bill in 2016 is designed to provide a better life for beggars, homeless individuals and those living in poverty or abandonment. Under this bill, it's illegal to make children beg or engage in any organized, coerced begging. People caught begging will be sent to rehabilitation centers funded by the states. Local welfare officers will oversee the implementation and at the state level, the director of social welfare will be responsible. 
This bill is a model for states to adopt. Begging is a libel offence. That means the accused is entitled for bail straight away. While the bill does not outright criminalize begging, it allows regular beggars to be placed in rehab centers with police assistance. It also involves issuing identity cards for monitoring and could aid the police in conducting raids and cleanup efforts similar to the current situation. It's important to update our laws and beggary to make them more effective and compassionate. This could involve changing or improving the current rules to focus on helping those in need instead of punishing them. Ultimately, no law can prevent begging. We can conclude that one has to make a situation where people are not forced to beg. It's the responsibility of the state, after all, to support its citizens to live the life they need with dignity. This was all for this video today. We really hope that you like our content. And if you do, then do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Now, you can also become a member by donating Rs. 89 per month. Thank you.